Last name ever, first name greatest Like a sprained ankle, boy, I ain't nothing to play with Started off local, but thanks to all Like I said, this is my room Pretty typical Japanese style Infested with spiders and centipedes But that's kind of the way it goes Leave the room This is the outside of the room And then you come down this way um, On these steps Like so Come all the way down and this is the farm and over here is the um bathroom pretty rudimentary it's just your pop and squat toilet and wipe and that is just how it goes dry your clothes here on the drying rack you got your vegetables such as tea leaves zucchinis those green rice fields right here um are rice fields um it's your basic farm with the chicken house and the cows and your vegetables. This is the place where they live. We eat our dinners, come over here, um, washing machine. Uh, this is the shower plus bathtub. Come on over here to the kitchen. It's, uh, I mean, you got your like piano here, sitting area, all that, and then this is the kitchen. Probably thing is pretty messy. It is a little messy, but as I've learned, uh, being on a farm, never clean. That's just how it is. So you come out of the kitchen, um, and you come over here, and this house, I've never seen so many spiders and cobwebs in my life. For example, you got... And if you're not into spiders, like me, you're gonna have a tough time. But, it's okay. Now, what's kind of cool about this farm is they got these rice fields here. And usually rice fields, you they're always in water. So, you always gotta weed them. But what they got, they got this cool system going on here. Where these ducks here, you place them in the rice field. And then the ducks just swim around and they eat all the weeds. So it's like a really cool system. You don't have to weed. Ducks do all the work. I like it. of working, usually the way it works here is that we start around six in the morning and then we work for about six hours, take a few breaks, two hours here, two hours there. And then once the day finishes, we eat our food out here with a nice view of the garden and the mountains. You can't really see how great the mountains look, but it's a pretty nice view. Now your typical Japanese meal, at least here on this farm, consists of like a bottle of sake, then you got fresh vegetables like zucchini and tofu, and meat, and a bowl of rice. And it's a pretty nice deal because the food, home cooked, it's authentic, and all the vegetables come from the garden. Um, so that's a plus. The vegetables are so fresh, you can actually still taste the chicken poop, the chicken fertilizer on them. They're that fresh. It's is the chicken house and there's five different chicken houses and uh, there's about 300 chickens on this farm so open it up like so and the chickens are all waiting patiently to be fed and you ask what does a chicken eat well a chicken eats grass and you kind of feed the chickens by throwing it in there in their face and they know what to do after you throw it in their face because they eat it. Finished laying hay. Shoveling hay from this truck into there. Pretty hard work. So today I'm here in the barn and this is how you make hay. You got this box. If you don't have a machine, you got a box. You put the hay in the box, smash it down, and then once you got enough hay in there, you uh tied up and then you can get, make yourself all these hay bales. So one cool thing about this farm is that it's in the mountains and it's so high up and it's by this river. It's so high up that the water is almost non-polluted and you know when I got here and they told me they don't filter their water they just drink it straight out of the stream. I was kind of worried because the last time I drank water from a mountain I got diarrhea really bad. So uh, I was a little hesitant, but I didn't have any choice <clears throat> whatsoever since I'm on this farm for 10 days. So, 
they have the water set up so that it comes out into a barrel like that from the river leads to a faucet like this and you're thinking wow that's pretty that's pretty dirty but you know I was thinking the same thing too then I filled up the water and I uh, look at it and it's pretty clear actually there might be parasites but I've been drinking this stuff for 10 days and it's no diarrhea so far